Okay, I'm tackling this garlic. Uh, there's like little heads in here somewhere. I gotta find it and I gotta take it out. Um, and letting these ones go to seed so I can get seed. That is the goal at least, but I think that one needs to come out. I don't think that one's gonna go to seed. It looks pretty dead but compared to like that one that's straight up. So I'm gonna tackle this and see how far I get. Okay, this is as far as I've gotten today. I just have that little strip left to do. But I gotta go make dinner, or not dinner, it's lunchtime. I gotta go make lunch, but hi, oh my goodness, I've done a lot. I'm just using a hand hoe. My back aches. <laughs> pulled up. There's some onions still in there. A lot of garlic. These heads are actually pretty decent sized, um, but they were starting to rot. So I couldn't let keep letting them go to seed. Some of the seeds didn't open. You can plant these. Um, those will, here's the cool thing. Okay. Okay. I'm so sweaty because I'm wearing a coat and it's like, oh, it's gotta be like 18 degrees out, which is really hot. But apparently to southerners, that's like really cold. I'm dying. <laughs> That's hot enough. Um, Cause I know 20 degrees Celsius is 70 Fahrenheit. And I was watching this YouTube video of somebody and she was like wearing a coat and shivering and she's like, it's 70 degrees out. And I'm like, That's super hot. Like I can't stand much hotter, but you know what? We get through minus 60 just fine. <laughs> My bathtub pipes might freeze, but you know, it's okay. Anyways, um, garlic, right. So usually you know that you plant like these little cloves of garlic and then you'll get another head. But you can, now I'm not 100% certain on the process of these per se, but I think that these will turn black. I don't know, it was done growing. It wasn't gonna pollinate anymore, but I think these are the little seeds that turn black when they're dry. We shall see. I've watched some videos, nothing is really all that clear. But I know that it wasn't gonna grow anymore and I had to pull it out or else it was gonna rot in the ground and I wasn't gonna get anything. Um, so if you plant a clove, you're gonna get a bulb like this which went with a bunch of cloves. If you plant one of, one of these little seeds, you're gonna get, let's see, where is it? You're gonna get one of these, which one of these pops open and has a bunch of these. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, but if you plant one of these, you'll get one of these little circles, just one of them. And then if you plant one of these little circles, you'll get one of these. <laughs> and if you plant one of these, you'll get, I'm assuming one of these, a bulb, like a full garlic head. Um, but these are just, look at this big one. Isn't that weird? It's one big circular globe <laughs> of garlic. Um, some of them I sliced as I was reading. So I think what I'm gonna do, um, take the ones that can be for seed, set them aside to dry. Everything else I'm gonna wash, clean, and freeze dry. And then you have garlic powder. Um, and it's the best. You can, obviously you can store garlic, but my garlic is not storable because the paper's off of it because it was in the ground not too long. It was in there for the right amount of time that I wanted it to, to get these. Super long-winded explanation, but that's what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna freeze dry the ones that are not good for seed next year. Are not good for seed, I guess this year, because this year you plant them, um, October. Beginning of October, I think I'll plant some. Okay, now this is my watermelon patch, but there is nothing here but grass. There was a sunflower, but I just pulled it out because uh, it fell over and was dying. Anyways, so I will use the petals that are left in the leaves for tea. Well, I'm not done, but a lot further. 
what it's called. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'm covered in very, very messy. I was weed whacking 